Hi, and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing and testing an LED foldable magnifier from newcrafty.com. So Newcrafty got in touch with me recently and asked if I would be interested in reviewing some more of their products. So this time I thought, okay, I'll take a break from diamond paintings and I will have a look at accessories. So I had a look in their accessory section, had a bit of a browse and saw a couple of things and chose them. So they arrived a few days ago and this is how they came. Um, Newcraft Day are a budget friendly company. So when you receive uh, products, they come in a grey bag. Um, diamond paintings are the same, they come in a grey bag, they don't come in a box. They are sort of semi-folded, semi-rolled. Um, and that is how they send their stuff. So today I've got two products in here, but I am only going to review one. One of them is in a box, and that is the one that I'm going to review today. So I'll just cut the bag open and since I know the other item is not in a box it should be easy to uh, to get the, the one that I want. So let's see how that goes. So I'll just cut open the bag, reach inside, feel for a box. We've got one. Leave the other thing inside. This will be in a future video. So please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. You will get a little message when uh, this video goes up and you can have a look at it. So this is what I decided to order. Um, something a bit different. It's a tabletop magnifier or it can be used as a handheld magnifier as well. So for diamond painting, really tabletop would be uh, the one that we'd want to try. So really I was thinking about people who have problems seeing the small print, the small squares um, on the canvas and they're looking for a way um, to see things better. So it says on the box it's a 8 LED dual circuit desktop handheld folding magnifier. It does say handheld but you can see there is a base so I thought this could work for diamond painting. Um, it's USB. There's a cable that looks like with a, a USB cable that plugs into it to operate the LED lights. So it's not battery powered as far as I know, but we'll find out once I open it. So just some pictures, basically of different ways you can set it. It's, it's pretty flexible. So hopefully we can uh, we can work something out. I am on a tilted draft table, so I don't know if I can tilt the lens to the side or not. Um, we'll, we'll find out. So that's pretty much it. An 8 bulb LED magnifier. So I'll open up the box. Take out the contents. which are managing to catch on the top. There we go. Let's see if we can get the cable. Oh, it's actually a cleaning cloth. That's handy. I didn't know that would be on it. So we have the USB cable. <coughs> um, what else? A little booklet. Just explains what all the parts are. Actually, there is a battery compartment. So, if you don't have any kind of power near the table or your desk, you can uh, put batteries in it. Um, we'll find out if it has them. I'm guessing it doesn't, but we'll see. Um, so, you can run it by battery as well, which could be more convenient. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't think there's too much to it. So we'll, we'll have a look. Um, 
even if we just look at the, the mats here you can see that's, uh, that's a pretty strong magnification as I said nice little cleaning cloth that's handy nice of them to include that this will be the power button and you can see it is handheld so I suppose people um, who have problems reading small print it could come in handy for other things reading instructions or uh, ingredients or whatever on things uh, so it, it could be handy for that as well but the real reason I got it was I was thinking would it be any good for diamond painting so now I'm curious to see you know it doesn't come with batteries it looks like it's triple A yeah two triple A batteries I may actually go and get some uh, when I test it we can try it with the batteries so just slides back in I think missed it and I missed a little ribbon okay so we're back in business so we have uh, LEDs set into the rim here um, what way does it actually open I don't want to break it all right okay so it clicks to different settings which is good feels pretty solid so once you've set it um, it shouldn't move I noticed there's actually a mega magnifier uh, I don't know if you see it that well just there's a circle here that has a really high magnification um, might as well look at my finger is that you see you see that circle there so I'll just set it in the desk and see I don't think the head no it doesn't it doesn't tilt from side to side it only goes up and down and it doesn't adjust you can see there's a little bolt heads in here so you can't adjust the head itself you have to adjust the arm but I'm sure we can figure something out so we actually have another leg here so we can get a decent height and I'm thinking we can uh, take it over the diamond painting we can find out how close we need to go to magnify and that is too far you can see so the weight of the, the glass is too much so we need to take it back and then drop it down you could put it different ways I suppose but as I said I'm on a tilted table but what I'll do is I'll set it up I've got a diamond painting under here as always one that I have just started I've just finished a diamond painting that had 197 colours and I have just started a diamond painting that has 19 colours so uh, I decided to take a break so 19 colours in this one and uh, we'll have a look and see how well it works okay so now we'll set up to give it a try as I said I've just started this so this is the, the first section in this diamond painting um, when I was putting batteries in it uh, I found out it's actually three AAA batteries that go in the handle so three batteries you need to buy um, I think probably this is about as far forward as I can take it because if I go past here it gets top heavy and tips over so that is pretty much it but it does magnify as you can see let's focus it better um, the only thing I'm thinking is there is not a lot of space between the magnifying glass and the canvas um, I thought I'd lost them there I used tweezers uh, to diamond paint so I'm going to give it a try with tweezers uh, I suppose the first thing I want to do is actually switch it on uh, so I can see better so just one click 
and I can see it is reflecting off the glue, which looks a bit weird. I think that's a more powerful light, but it's given this, you can see, sort of weird looking uh, reflection, which actually hides uh, the symbols, so not really good. If it was for reading, uh, like I said, if you're reading very small print on something or reading uh, ingredients in, in a on a tin, on a label, that type of thing, it'd be really good having the light. Um, but I think the light is too close to the glue and it reflects back and then you can't see the symbols. So um, actually I wouldn't recommend putting the light on. I've got a light just off camera there um, shining across the canvas that's uh, that's working fine so actually I need to find what I'm doing so I'm actually doing these W's which is 310 good old black so I'll give it a try um, as I said I'm, I'm not sure about the getting into the thing with the the magnifying glass over it I think if I take the magnifying glass I think it can go one click up or does it click yeah <clears throat> it still focuses so yeah that is actually a lot better and again just to make sure it's focusing that's better uh, the thing is the camera is trying to focus on the actual lens so we'll give it a try <clears throat> I'll do half of it with tweezers this little section and I'll do half of it with a pen so for tweezers, um, it works fine. I can get in from the side. Oops. Sometimes when you've got round drills, the edges, there's no height to them. So using tweezers sometimes gets a bit fiddly. But this isn't too bad. And one more. Two more actually. So I'm just doing a little checkerboard. Do this with the rounds and squares. It makes it easier to line things up um, because when you push the drills in the gaps they straighten up everything around them. <coughs> so that was with tweezers, um, that was okay. Actually the, the lens is at a slight angle, um, <coughs> tilting up the way, so it gives space. So now I'll try a pen. Uh, I'm just thinking about this, I think this pen is probably longer than the standard pink pen which I don't happen to have lying around but we'll give it a try yeah that's, that's okay oh, hit the magnifying glass that time but not too bad So yeah, that was okay. <clears throat> the other thing that I wanted to do was try it with the light pad on. So I'll move it to a different section of W's. This little section here. I'll put the light pad on, see what difference it makes. So you can see with the light pad, it really makes a difference. It's a lot easier to see those W's. I always use a light pad. Um, all the time. I just find it a lot easier. In fact, I've actually got a section here that I've already started the checkerboard, so I'll take it over. And we'll work on this section, I think. So I'm going to try using the pen because I know most people use pens.
So, as I said, I was really thinking about people who struggle to see. Uh, maybe at the point and think, I, I can't diamond paint because I can't see the symbols. Uh, I can see this being useful. It does have limitations, though it's a, a pretty small area that you look at. Um, <clears throat> the lens isn't that big, but it is definitely clear enough. I mean, there's no problem seeing things, especially if you put a light pad at the back. Um, the fact that the the lights reflect off the glue is, is definitely a bad thing um, because you can't see the symbols for the reflection. Uh, if you're using a light pad, you wouldn't be trying to use the light anyway. But I would definitely recommend using uh, a light at the side or just room light. Um, the reflection um, just doesn't really work for diamond painting. But as I said, I can see it being very handy. I mean, if you're having problems seeing small things, um, not necessarily for diamond painting, just for other things where you're struggling to read. It is very light. Um, it doesn't weigh much. It folds back, so it's um, more like a normal magnifying glass. It's just a handle and a lens. So you could use it um, that way. I could see that being useful for people that can't read the small print. And it does work, you just have to move it about quite a bit um, for diamond painting. But I think you can see the difference it made when I switched on the light pad, it's just a lot easier to see. Um, this is a, a black background with a, a white W, which uh, I think was a bit difficult to make out without the light pad. It's definitely a lot easier with it and it's very easy to see if you've missed the space because then you suddenly see this spot of light the other thing that I wanted to try was uh, the USB as I said I wouldn't use the light for diamond painting but just out of curiosity I mean, you could use it, I suppose, for reading like a book. If, again, if you're struggling to read the print, you could sit it at the side of the book and have the magnifier over it. But again, it's a it's a small area, so I'm not so sure that would be a good idea. So just untying the USB cable, and I'm going to use a power bank because the cable is not very long. Um, it it wouldn't reach like a computer. Maybe if you had a laptop and it was really close, but it is a pretty short cable. So I've just plugged that in. Uh, there is a port on the side. In here. It's out of focus, but um, we won't bother about that. I just want to see that it works. So switch power bank on. I'll switch the light pad off. And we'll try it. It lights up. Actually, it doesn't look that bad this time. Maybe it was just the angle because I think I had it pointing straight down. Now it's slightly tilted up at an angle, so it doesn't reflect as bad. You can see, actually, you can see no problem. So it could just be a matter of thing for tilt it back. Yeah, that's what it is. If you have the lens pointing directly down, it reflects back up off the glue. If you tilt it just one click, um, it disappears. So actually, uh, it is usable. Not sure what this circle is. It's like it's an intense magnifier. What you would want to use that for, I don't know. But you can see it does work. Again, it's just definitely for people who just can't see the symbols, they're just too small. This would uh, definitely make them bigger. You can't work on such a, a wide area though, because you can only sort of see a small area in focus, but it's definitely better than not being able to see at all. So that was the LED folding magnifier 
from newcraftday.com. Um, as I said, I thought I would try something a bit different rather than uh, choosing some diamond paintings. I thought I would have a look at the accessories section. I chose two things that caught my attention and this was the first one. Um, I thought the magnifier could definitely be useful for people who are struggling to see the symbols. Uh, they're just too small. And the fact that it has uh, LED lights in it as well, I thought that might help um, shine light on the symbols. Initially, when I first set it up and I got the reflection of the glue, I thought uh, this isn't really going to work for diamond painting because the reflection hides the symbols. But then I tilted it just one notch and the reflection disappeared and I could still see the section I wanted to work on. The second concern that I had initially was the height of the glass from the canvas and I thought I'm not sure if you could work a diamond painting pen under it. Um, you can. And uh, so I used tweezers, they worked no problem. I used a diamond painting pen that is probably longer than the pink pens, it worked fine as well. So just having that slight angle rather than having it pointing straight down um, fixes the problem with the reflection and enables you to use a pen or tweezers. Um, as I said, it uses batteries. Uh, it's actually three AAA batteries. When I first looked in, I thought it was just two, but it's three. Um, also has the cable for the USB. Um, it is a short cable, so it would need to be, if you were using a computer, um, you could plug in. Um, but it would need to be a laptop that was very close to the canvas. Alternatively, you could use a power bank, um, which is what I did. It makes things a lot more portable. You can just put the power bank wherever out of the way and um, it, it powers it no problem at all. So that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing is you need to be careful how far forward you put the lens because then it becomes top heavy and it wants to tip over. So you just have to find that sweet spot where um, you're as far forward as you can go without it tipping over. Having the batteries in it made a difference. Um, it gives it a bit more weight behind centre. So it means you can, it's actually more stable um, just with the weight of those three bat batteries in it. Um, but it works, it works fine. It is a relatively small lens though, so you can't work on large areas without moving it. Um, but again, if you're struggling to see the symbols and you really want to diamond paint, um, it's definitely an option. And the bonus is it folds down so you have a handle and it acts like a normal magnifying glass, which could come in handy for reading um, labels and small print on documents and that type of thing. The fact it has the light, that's also a good thing as well. Makes it easier to see things. So, yeah, I mean, for, I think it's just under $10, not a huge amount of money. Um, it could make the difference between diamond painting or, or just giving the hobby up because you can't read symbols. So, um, yeah, I think if you're having problems, it could be a relatively cheap um, way to keep in the diamond painting. And it has other uses as well. So, yeah, it is, it is uh, definitely good enough for diamond painting. I don't see any major problems with it. So, uh, yeah, I think that uh, could definitely be handy for some people. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, just random things at times that I think about, um, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you will get a notification when new videos go up. I do have a lot of things um, sitting here waiting to be unbagged and unboxed. So uh, if you hit the notification button, you will get a message um, when new videos go up. You will also get a message when I go live on YouTube Live. I haven't been doing that for um, at least a couple of months because I've been working on a diamond painting that has 197 colours and I had three cases of uh, drills on the table 
as well as all the usual paraphernalia, trays and all that sort of stuff. So I had no space for a laptop. So I have had people contacting me and asking, why aren't you doing lives? Um, that's why. I finished that diamond painting yesterday or last night and uh, I've just kitted up this one. This is a very small diamond painting. So um, only 19 colours in this one. So I have my desk back. So I'll be setting up the laptop and getting the cameras set up again and doing some lives uh, pretty soon. So um, again, if you've subscribed, hit the notification button, you'll get a message when I go live. You can drop in, uh, see what I'm working on, talk about diamond painting, talk about pens, talk about accessories, talk about the weather, talk about anything. Um, a lot of people drop in just for a bit of a chit chat. I enjoy doing it. Um, it's better than just comments and chat rooms and that sort of thing. Um, I enjoy the, the back and forward, learning a bit about people, where they are in the world as well, because um, I live in Copenhagen, capital city of Denmark, but I am originally from Scotland, and I noticed uh, quite a few things when I, changed, uh, I moved here. Um, quite a few things here are very, very different from uh, living in Scotland. And I'm always interested in hearing about where people live, and that sort of thing. So if you're interested in joining in, um, and if you're new and you want to drop in and ask questions about diamond painting, I will definitely do my best to help. Um, so that is it. So thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe, and wash your hands.